What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. And today, just so we can get some confirmation, look, there's a lot of reasons to criticize Game of Thrones this season and specifically last night. But this story has been making the rounds and I wanted to get some clarification on it because I was tagged on Twitter and asked about it. So it turns out the picture of Jamie Lannister's hand magically reappearing in last night's Game of Thrones episode was fake news. This is from Barstool Sports. Um, so this is this has actually been going around. Like I said, I was tagged on Twitter. Jamie has still uh, still has his right hand in Game of Thrones season eight, episode five. WTF? Um, so this tweet hit the internet this morning and caused quite a commotion following last week's national nightmare known as Starbucks Cup Gate. No, not the one about Christmas. The one about it not being realistic to have a Starbucks cup cup in the show with dragons. Anyway, the tweet got some play on social media and obviously added a few more. Proverbial, proverbial logs to the fire of angry fan reactions to last night's episode, which pretty much resembled this. That's true. However, with a twist right out of a vintage Game of Thrones episode, it turns out the image was fake news as F. Uh, reason, uh, the uh, you can see Jamie's right hand flub. Unlike the Starbucks-like cup, this shot wasn't actually in the episode, despite the reports making it sound like it was. The image was, however, in a photo put out by HBO Game of Thrones. Um, let's see. Entertainment Weekly's uh, seems to be the HBO's unofficial promotional branch of all things. They are also Disney's pro promotional branch. Entertainment Weekly has everything. Ridiculous. Anyway, uh, so I am going to blindly believe at James Hibbard uh, over the most likely and very trustworthy game of T57476878. However, as an investigative reporter that holds Barstool Sports' the highest journalistic standards, I did my due diligence, rewatched the episode of HBO on HBO Go, and indeed confirmed that the picture is not in the episode. Uh, so there it is. Uh, there it is. Is Game of Thrones back or is Game of uh, is Game of Thrones back or is Game of Thrones back? Okay, I guess not having a hand uh, that was severed like a half a dec uh, half a decade ago appear in what is the biggest episode of the show's history isn't quite the red wedding. Well, see, but here's the thing: it needs to be like this is a relic. Like I feel like this is pouncing now because of the the whole you know, cup situation, the fact that since episode three, everybody has been very, very disappointed. So people are going to pounce on any little thing they can find. And I get it. Again, nobody's more frustrated than I am with episode uh, five and season eight in, in general. But, you know, we have to point out when things literally aren't true. And this is just not true based on what people are saying. Now, I will say this much. Y yeah, you could go back and watch it on, on, um, on HBO Go, that doesn't mean they haven't corrected the problem. So I will leave that option out there that maybe, maybe that they, it, it, on the live broadcast, this was this way. I still don't believe so. I was on with Mahler and Wolf last night. Neither one of us, we weren't looking for this, but I don't recall seeing this. So I guess they could have just like they, they took the Starbucks cup out. But at the end of the day, it appears this is just a promotional image used by HBO. So there you go. We'll see. We'll see if Handgate turns into a big thing or not. Uh, but I would say we have a lot more to complain about with this uh, episode of Game of Thrones than whether Jamie Lannister's hand was back or not. There's a lot, including the fact that they ruined Jamie Lannister. Oh my God. His entire arc completely abandoned. Jamie Lannister, the douchebag from the beginning of the series where he literally crippled a kid. So he could continue to bang his sister, a douchebag of the highest order. And then all of this character development, all of this redemption that he's been working towards, only to just go back to being the same guy he was in the first episode. Unreal. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.